Pancreatic cancer has the lowest survival rate of all cancers. November is also Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Today is the Great American Smoke Out to encourage smokers to quit smoking or make a plan to quit. And Denver 7's Nicole Brady spoke to one man who went from smoker to quitter to survivor. I smoked for over 50 years. For 50 years, James Farlett tried everything to quit cigarettes. A few years ago, when he became eligible for Medicare, a doctor urged him to start getting regular scans of his lungs. He didn't find anything. So the next year, of course, I did it again and, you know, did it again. And then they found a little spot on my lung. In August, James underwent a biopsy surgery, and that's when things got serious. And I get a phone call from Dr. Joyman, the phone call you don't want to hear. James had lung cancer. He was back in the operating room within weeks to remove half of his lung, but this time it ended with better news. He says to me, he says, Jim, he says, 99.9% uh, .9 of the cancer is gone in your body. Because we picked this up so early, he does not need any chemotherapy or radiation therapy. His cancer was a stage 1A lung cancer. Early detection likely saved James' body, but something else happened after that surgery that changed his life. I haven't had a cigarette since. I haven't thought about a cigarette since. That was the other miracle. They said that I had such a traumatic experience that my mind literally wiped the the thought of ever smoking. It's like I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. He's feeling better, looking forward to celebrating his 50th wedding anniversary and living more of his life. I have so much time on my hands. You know, I'm not smoking. <laughs> so I'd go do something else, you know? It is wonderful. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. So good to see that success story. Now, this is the number for the Colorado Quit Line. It is 1-800-QUIT-NOW. The Quit Line offers free coaching to people as young as 12. Adults 18 and over can also get free medications to help them quit.